Hello everyone, my name is Dr. Anthony Luke and I'm a lecturer in chemistry here at Inverness College, part of the University of the Highlands and Islands. In this experiment, we're going to look at the flame colours which are produced by different metals. The basis for this experiment is the fact that metals are made of atoms and electrons orbit the nucleus of these atoms. And the electrons occupy energy levels. When we provide a source of energy from the heat of the Bunsen flame, this excites electrons and makes them jump from lower energy levels to high energy levels. The electrons are excited and end up with excess energy and they have to get rid of this excess energy and as they fall down to their ground state, their lowest energy state, they emit this excess energy as visible light. The visible light which is emitted is unique to each particular metal. So we get different flame colors for different metals. As the electrons fall back down to their ground states, they don't only emit visible light. They can emit light in the ultraviolet, which we can't see, but we can observe it using a technique called spectroscopy. In this experiment, we're going to use six metals. And we've got the metals dissolved in water in these little spray bottles. Metal A is lithium. Metal B is copper. Metal C is potassium. Metal D is calcium. Metal E is barium. Metal F is sodium. In this experiment, we're going to make the laboratory dark. So we're going to pull all the blinds down and we're going to turn out all of the lights. We're going to use a Bunsen burner. We light the Bunsen burner and produce a yellow flame, but then we're going to turn the collar completely open so that we get a roaring flame. The roaring flame is blue. And as you can see, there is a cone. The cone is light blue. The top of the cone is the hottest part of the flame. And we need the Bunsen burner at its very hottest flame to provide the energy for the experiment. I'm spraying a solution of metal A, lithium, into the flame. It produces a beautiful crimson color. I'm spraying metal B, which is copper, into the flame. It produces a bright blue-green color. I'm spraying metal C, which is potassium, into the flame, and it turns the flame a beautiful lilac color. I'm spraying metal D, which is calcium, and this produces a brick red flame. I'm spraying metal E, barium and this produces a yellow flame. I'm spraying metal F, sodium, and this produces a bright orange flame. By spraying different metals in sequence, we can make the flame change color. We're going to start by alternating metal A, lithium, with metal B, copper. So the flame changes from crimson to blue-green and back again. We're now spraying metal C, potassium, and metal D, calcium, and the flame changes from lilac to brick red and back again. I'm spraying metal A, lithium, and metal E, barium. So the flame alternates between crimson and yellow. I'm now going to get somebody to assist me so that we can spray four metals into the flame in sequence. We're going to use metal A, lithium, metal E, barium, metal C, 
potassium and metal B, copper. Watch how the flame changes color and also see how the flame wobbles as the spray of metal solution enters the flame. This is a particularly enjoyable experiment. The colors are beautiful. And if we observe the flame changing color and moving in slow motion, it looks like the flame is dancing. 